good morning everyone welcome back to another video we're back on site with this build so today we're going to finish off the block work also going to put the wall plates on here as well we've already started the wall plate up here the other day so we're going to continue that and um, then we're basically ready for for the rafters and stuff so we have, we were a little bit short on the insulation so we were waiting for some more insulation which we ordered that's arrived yesterday so we're going to finish the rest of that wall or the other side of that wall and then that will be our block work finished for now so i'm going to quickly show you what we did and i'll try and explain what we're going to be doing so this is what we did as well the other day we did the lintel here for the bifold and we put the lintel in for the window so we've got 150 mil bear on either side this side we've actually got slightly longer lintel because they didn't have the size i wanted in stock so i went for the larger size so which is even better so we got i think about 250 mil bearing either side so 150 bearing is a minimum yeah so you don't always have to go with that as long as it's at least 150 then you're good to go so on this side we have got uh we've received the rest of the insulation now full fill cavity so we've got enough to finish that little bit here now uh and then we can finish the block work up there also got a bit of wall starter to screw on the wall up there and then we can get that done so we're going to be doing that today we already started putting the wall plate up here so you guys can see we bolted it in Let's see if we're going to show you a bit closer but we've already started we drilled and put these bolts in here already we resin them in already so all we've got to do now today is to tighten them up and we just got one little bit to put here so we'll put another section here and we'll bolt that to the wall and uh then we be ready to put the wall plates on this side here we'll put the wall plate on top here some dpc uh some tray over the uh cavities as well and then once we've done the rafters later on we'll do the last row of bricks on the outside um but we're going to try and see if we can get some rafters cut today at least get our template and um yeah see how many of them we can do today and then we'll basically be ready for the roof so this roof is going to have three velux windows in it um, so just sort of spread out evenly so we're going to do a lot of double battening or double rafters as well then it's going to have a tiled roof on top Thank you. 
Yeah, so you are pulled back out, isn't it? I do better that to touch on insulation. Finish by the block. Yes, mm -hmm. that's why I do it to the block. Oh. So you tell me it don't matter. So that one, two hands stop here then. So you're doing the Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. like, just slide it down to the end of the block. Yeah? The keys. The keys. Put it there. You want it? Hi guys, we are done for today. So today is a hot day, it's really hot. This week is starting to get hot. Seems like summer might finally be here, but we are done. I'm gonna show you guys what we've got to done, uh, what we got done today. We hopefully will have the inspector here tomorrow. And um, tomorrow we're gonna be on the roof and we're gonna try and see if we can get the roof actually covered tomorrow. So look out for tomorrow's video. But I'm gonna quickly show you guys what we did. So there's our wall plate, as you guys can see. It's all bolted up. There's one more bolt to bolt the last hole we drilled in. Put some revin, resin in there, sorry. So we'll leave that overnight. And then guys will tighten that up tomorrow. But these have all been tightened up. We actually got one rafter in there as well at our pitch. And uh, it's all coming out good. So yeah, we're basically about 17 and a half, roughly about 18 degrees is what we calculated our pitch to be. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see if I can show you guys from outside. Uh, actually as well, we put these uh, straps on as well. You guys can see, strapping the plate down. Um, but yeah, that's it. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be basically doing, get all the rafters in. We've got quite a lot of framing and stuff to do because as I said, we've got three Velux windows in to go in. So there's a lot of um, doubling up and stuff like that. So we'll get that in tomorrow and the plan is to get some membrane at least on top of it so then that means the roof will be covered and watertight if it does rain which i don't think it will well, hopefully it doesn't um and then basically yeah next will be we're waiting for tiles to come in it will be batten and tile this roof we've got all our insulation that's coming as well <clears throat> so all that can go in between the rafters we've got insulation to put down on the floor but obviously we want to get this roof done first then we'll do insulation and then we'll screed this floor to match up to the floor level there. And um, pretty much then that will be the shell done. Which one are you doing now? Inside the outside, which one are you doing? The first one I have to do, innit? First one, there's the inside. I'm inside the inside. 
Hi guys, we are done for today. It's been a busy day. Everyone's done really well. Uh, we managed to get what we wanted to get done. We actually had an inspection today. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I've got a sore throat. But we actually had an inspection today because um, <clears throat> we had to inspect the insulation that we did. And we also had a look at the roof today because we had started it. So he was happy with it. He just said to put some bolts in, which we were meant to do anyway, where we're doubling up the rafters. And um, yeah, there's just a couple of things to do and we're pretty much ready for tiles. So I'm going to quickly show you guys what we did. All right, guys, so here we go with our roof. You can see we've pretty got much got all our rafters in. You can see where these sort of square rectangle spaces are. That's where the windows are going to be. There's some Velux windows going on. You can see we double up the rafters there. And then what we do is, um, <clears throat> what we do is, we put in these bolts um, to, to do bolt the double up rafters together. So they're all in there now. So we've got some brackets that we're going to put on the top here. We just temporarily screw these all together. We'll put those brackets on when we come back. Um, and also we've got some brackets that we're going to put in up where the rafters meet the wall plates as well. So again, we do those. Uh, when we come back, but temporarily they're all um, being nailed up um, and uh, yeah, all the, fitted to the wall plates, that's all done as well. So yeah, it's looking good. So now it's really cool in here because it's really hot today, but now we are actually covered and uh, almost watertight for the rain. I mean, no rain should really get in here. Obviously, there's no flashing up the top, but we've wrapped it up the wall. So should it should stay dry in here from now on which is absolutely great so there was one thing um that i had to do which he pointed out <clears throat> which is which is something i i totally missed missed you might notice there that i've put in an extra 2b1 button on top of the rafters just because i needed to increase the the height of the rafters because he wants me to put 120 mil insulation in which is what we've got and then we're gonna put 50 mil, 50 mil below, so that'll be 170 mil insulation. Now, those rafters are six by twos, so they're 150 mil. So if you imagine you put 120 mil in there, you'll only be left with a 30 mil gap on the top. So I had to put another 25 mil batten on top, so I've now got 55 millimeters on top. Um, what I should have done in hindsight is I should have up spec the rafter to the next size up, which would have been a 175, and then I would have had the amount so just ended up being a little bit more work but we got it done today and uh, we have the correct air gap so he's happy with that um pretty much that's it we've got all our insulation there so we've got 100 mil insulation to go down in the ground here and we've got 120 mil as i said that's got to go in between the rafters and then we'll put a 50 mil underneath it and then it's ready for plasterboarding so the 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 the, the roof once the roof is done and windows are in we're pretty much all internal works after that we'll do the rendering of the building on the outside probably really last um and then yeah and then it's the inside of the house so yeah guys that's it for me today i'm shooting off as i said i'm not feeling too great so i'm gonna go home and have a rest and hopefully i'll feel better next week but guys if you like this video please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video take care thanks for watching